Yeah, that's to, a cool to a conclusion. If, if I'm ever feeling down, I, I pull up that video and think back and like, yeah, kind of get, I kind of re get reinvigorated there. There you go. All right, what about you, Lyndon? What is like so far your greatest accomplishment? Uh, well, this, so far this season, I've been having a, a really good year. Um, I broke Trey Hardy's um, collegiate record. <laughs> Twice, <laughs> I did it twice. Yeah. Um, with, I, the good thing about it, I did it without doing anything really special, you know. So, um, and just hearing Trey Hardy's resume, just uh, just being mentioned with him, you know, just being oh. named in the same sentence with Trey Hardy, and um, these guys that that um, that I passed to break the collegiate record, it just it's really humbling, you know. Um, yeah. And the good thing is training with I I get I. Um, I'm lucky to train with Trey Hardy and um, everything that he's done, I want to do. So um, I'm just I'm just here in Austin, Texas, just trying to learn how to be a world champion, you know. Mm -hmm. he's, he's been teaching me a lot of good things. That's a beautiful thing about, uh, you know, uh, do you think, uh, Trey, that uh, the Beijing no hide in the pole vault put a fire in your belly to Yeah, absolutely. Continue? That set me up to, it kind of flipped the switch on, on Really made me question, not question, but made me really think about what I'm doing and why why I'm doing what I'm doing. You know, I think in college you just initially I was doing it to pay for school, and then it, it kind of started to grow on me, and I was like, hey, I'm pretty good at this. And then uh, went to the Olympic trials in '04 and was like, hey, all these guys are, are human. And then my first really big meet was the '08. That was the first time leaving the country, so I was in China competing against the best in the world, and I was in medal position, and it all got just ripped away from me because I wasn't mentally prepared and uh, really reflected on that for several months after I came home um, and again having a great support staff uh, and Mario and, and Coach Thornton, Coach Bubba at the time making me figure it out on my own not telling me hey this is what you need to do but letting pushing me away and letting me kind of go on my own little journey of self-discovery uh, flip the switch and I, I you know, really haven't looked back. Yeah. Now, do you think you built on that in Sacramento uh, for the qualifications or the U.S. Uh, championships a couple of weeks ago? Um, two fa two fouls in the opening height in the in the pole vault and yeah, all I mean, or nothing. Was, I, don't, I don't really think about it. You know, every every attempt I take, I try to treat like my third. That's the one big mm. advice that is. That's a good boy. Good. Really tattooed onto my soul <laughs> uh, from my wife. Uh, yeah. She was world championship silver medalist pole vaulter. Still, I think, I think she's the fourth or fifth all-time U.S. vaulter, um, and that was something that she imparted on me. Like, stop wasting jumps. You know, stop doing that. And so, yeah. I know. I mean, I can open it five meters twenty, and I can clear it on my third attempt, the same as I would clear cool. four eighty or four ninety. So it's never. Honestly, that third attempt in Sacramento, I, I, what are you thinking? I, well, it got me worried. I was, I was, I was, I was trying to watch my browser update and see yeah. if we would get a, get a, a, a an O for, for that one. Yeah, it was I like just, a, whew, I it's there. Out, put the pole tip up, ran down the runway, and the next thing I knew, I was celebrating over the bar. I wasn't thinking about anything. Same, same mentality that I had the first two, first two jumps. Yeah. It's not the bar. It's not the height. It's not the pole. Not the grip. It's just me pole vaulting. So. Yeah. I'm. Never worry. <laughs> awesome. So now one one interesting uh, tidbit about uh, decathlon elite world medals from 1912 Olympics and World Championships. The oldest so far medalist in the history is Roman Srebrele. Um He was 32.8 uh, years old in 2007 in Osaka. That's when he won. Hmm? He won. And he won. Yeah. Yeah. Medalist and all medalists ever. So he won actually at that age. 